Yeah, I think, you know, when coaches are yelling, I think it's good for coaches to be deliberate when they're yelling. And what I mean by that is if you're on the bench coaching, you know, and you want the puck to go wide, then, you know, yelling, hey, wide, wide's open, wide's open, then helping players out a little bit is fine. Um, I think yelling and screaming at players a lot of times, and you'll see it, like, and we've all seen this, but players will literally be in the play looking at the bench. Sometimes having the puck on their stick looking at the bench because the coach is yelling at them. Like, you cannot function as a human being like that, whether it's at work or school or, or in, in a hockey game. So I think letting them play the game, I think, is, is the best way to go about it. Not to say that you can't, you know, yell commands to them or help them out a little bit or maybe help them with positioning a little bit as the game's going live. I think that's very appropriate. But I think the yelling and the screaming is, is it's honestly nerve-wracking for the kids a little bit, even for the kids on the bench. And then I think, honestly, trying to keep it positive. And it's hard because minor hockey, let's be honest, isn't good hockey. It's pretty bad hockey. And not all the kids are that good. Not really, let's be honest, at 12, 13, they're not really good players yet. So they're going to make a ton of mistakes, which is fine. But we can't dwell on them or get mad at them or, or change our whole demeanor because of it. I think we got to encourage it a little bit, try to fix those mistakes, and, and continue to kind of develop as, as that season or game is going on. Um, but I'm not for coaches screaming and yelling the whole game. I think it just it adds a lot of stress to the players that they don't need.